Hello, welcome to Wild West Garage. Standing in front of the 1950 Chevy cab. There's the part I just made. Stick around and I'll show you how I made that. So I'm just doing a little survey of this A-pillar and going around with my spike, my Marlin spike, and I'm just kind of pecking at it. And found a hole there. Found a soft spot up here. All along up here is pretty solid. So I think I'm going to take this panel and cut it off right along here. I want to stay away from these louvers. Cut it off right along here. And then come down like this. So I'll address this soft spot here. And that'll open this right up <clears throat> nicely so I can get you know these other parts out. So I'm going to make this outer panel first <clears throat> just using this as a as a guide template if you will. So I'll make this piece. I'm not going to put the step in it so that way I can lay it on here over top of this piece and get it to you know get it the right shape and then once I go to fit it just like I did on the cab corner I I fit this all on here and then I put this step in it last that way when I make the panel because I'm going to be using this to form it up against it's going to be jogged over like, you know, the thickness of the metal here, right? So, I mean, I could, I guess I, I could subtract that distance and move, move this step over, but I'd rather just wait until the end to do that. And then uh, I can form all these other. So once I have that panel made, I can peel this all off of here. Then I can uh, work up a template for this piece, make this piece. And then I can make this piece inside here. It's going to be tough. I can't, I'm not going to be able to get that out of there without mangling it. So I'll make that. Probably just make it just by templates. Make it out of three pieces. It'll be a side, two sides and a back. And then once I have that made, I'll be able to pull that out of there. Make this uh, kick panel. And I think there's a little patch that needs to go in the bottom of this here somewhere. I saw some rust. So I'm just going to go at it in layers. Just keep working my way down until I get all the panels made. And then I can uh, assemble it all with screws or clecos or whatever. Make sure it all fits really nice. And then I can take it all apart again and start. I'll start with this and work my way out. And it should be all good. Just a chunk of masking paper using the dirty finger method. Just rub it along the edge here and it makes a, makes a mark on the paper. You can see after. Rub it all along the bottom here. And along this edge. This edge it needs to go, needs to fold in like this. So I could just I can do that. Rub that all along the edge there. Make some more dirt. A little more complicated down here because there's shrinking that's going to have to take place. get the idea. I'm 
Now we've got a pattern, I'll just go along with a pencil and kind of connect the dots. A little bit vague down here. So I'll just continue this on and join up with that. I got the buck cut out and clamped on the truck for the big truck part. So I'm going to try and bend this by hand into the shape that I want. The next few minutes of this video are kind of irrelevant because uh, I didn't really need to do what I'm doing here. So if you want to skip way ahead to where you see me bending this part on a sheet metal break, that's where you really want to come in. Uh, if you do want to watch me um, do this these yeah, next few steps here they could be relevant on something some else but because this here. front door edge is actually a straight plane meaning that uh where the where the there panel there. returns into the door opening there. it's just, um just me an idea it's straight there's no actual the shape to, to it like so, so I'll take I, it. I, I could have just to my slip roller and I'll drawn a straight line on it I, I and gone straight to the sheet metal break and it would have been fine so there is some slip roller uh, footage coming up, and, uh, and so this uh, is the template so, that I made. I explain, then I put the panel back on the, the car and explain how I scribed that edge. But none of that's really necessary, so just skip ahead from here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark where the top of this intersects the body. And then I'll lay the panel on there. I better make sure I put a mark on here. Oops. That's up. So then I'll lay the panel on here. And then I'll make a corresponding mark on the panel. See that first mark I made on the body, and that's where the that's where the template will touch the panel when I'm curving it. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna put a mark on the front of this so I can see it. I guess it's the back. So hopefully I can do this. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of a, a roll in the top part. There we go. I'm going to have to flip this around. Kind of a wintry day here today. Froze overnight. It's not a lot of shape in this part right here. There is a little. A lot of the shape's going to come out when I uh, tip the edge, but I got to get it the shape of the, the panel so I can scribe that edge. 
I think that's doing a little bit of a curve to it now. So it's good I got right up to that spot there. Stop and start where the curve really starts to happen. Yeah, so you can see. Nice little curve in it now. Just kind of curve. So I'll start forming it from this direction now. Just up to there. And just gradually sneak up on this and just keep rolling it back and forth from about the middle. Wind these rollers up quite a bit now. Bending up. Let's put a pair of pliers on this one. I'm going to put my tools away from the last job I did. Okay, now we got some action here. There's a little scale on either side of this and you want to keep it, want to keep it the same. I'm going to check this to my template now. Just a little bit more. Close. I'm just going to help a little bit because I don't want to over bend the rest of it. Feel that. Yeah, that's good. Just a little bit more right there. Here we go. You can see how that fits fairly nicely. This uh, has a little kicks down there a little bit. I don't know if it's because this is actually, I think it's actually, this is pushed in there and this part is pushed in. So 
We'll just ignore that. We'll just go for the highs. So it fits pretty good. So now I can come in with uh, a tool, like a little kind of a, a hook, hook uh, scribe tool, and scribe this door opening onto the back of this. Okay, so I just ended up uh, redoing this. I wasn't happy with it. So uh, it's nice and straight now. So I'm gonna go ahead and tip this. I, I am gonna trim it. So I'll do that first and then I'll tip it. I'm just kissing the tape. Still want to slow it down a bit. I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. So I got this tip part way and then I realized it's breaking there a bit. Um, I had to do some dolly work on it because I made a mistake and then I decided I was just going to break it on the sheet metal brake. Yeah, this is pretty critical getting this straight. I mean, you can bump it out a little bit with, with a dolly if you don't get it perfect. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it perfect. I wonder if I could just finish this in the brake. Flatten it out now. I'm gonna try it. gonna be loud. I'm just trying to sharpen up this edge a little bit. So I want to move some of this over here. So I'll just hang this out off the edge a little bit.
Okay, calm for start somewhat. So now I'm going to shrink this edge and get this to turn back the way it was. So I've got this line here from before for the template. I think that's my line, yep. Yeah. Just bring it across. That's where I want to lay the template on right there and get this to curve. Actually, no, it's up here. This is it. This is where it needs to start to turn right here. Curve needs to form from that point. Shrinker's a lot more effective with this uh, clamp I put in. I don't know if you noticed in some of my other videos that it was uh, really opening up a lot. It still opens up quite a bit. I'm not really sure what's going on, even with this clamp. Anyways, it seems to be a lot more effective. my template. I think it was in my back pocket and ended up in the house somewhere. I'm just going to fake it here. I'm just reaching in all the way here to flatten it out because it gets kind of, kind of wrinkled up. It doesn't do much when you reach in all the way. It doesn't do much shrinking. It's trying to shrink the whole piece so it doesn't curve. You gotta go about halfway in. gauges. This machine doesn't really handle it very well. I'll come back after I smash this thing with a sledgehammer. Okay, I just put a brand new set of jaws in this thing, so let's see what happens here. That's more like it. Wow. It was just sliding before, sliding over the metal of the jaws. They weren't doing anything. This to worn out after hardly using. I decided I'd better make a new template that was bigger, covered more of the more of the panel, so you can see the top. The top part is 
really, it's perfect. I just, I nailed that. I just kind of guessed at it. But you can see how it needs to be tightened up. Right in the middle here. So I'll, uh, I'll make a mark there. So, I... so kind of right at the widest point, like where the widest gap is, I'll put a mark. That'll be the middle. I'll make a long mark, and I'll make two smaller marks an inch apart on either side. So I'll just keep creeping up on that. I guess it's bent too much here. See how it goes along nice. Hope you can see this. It goes along nice and then it takes off here. It's too bent. So if I keep bending this here, that's going to move this up like that. Yeah, I guess so. And what I need to do is I need to bend it down here more. I need to hit it there hard. Yeah, I'll try that. Right, now it's starting to now it's starting to fit. Okay, I do need to straighten it out there in that spot. Yeah, I'm going to have to straighten it out there a little bit, I guess, or put some more bend up higher above it. Yeah, see if I slide it down, there's a gap on the long stretch here. So I'll put some more stretches up, strings up in the top here. needs to be bumped a little bit more at the top. I'm going to put little light taps in all along here. Just a little bit. Because it's a fairly straight portion of the panel. You don't want a big kink in it in one spot. Wow, look at that. Really starting to fit now. So I need to put one more right here. I'm reaching all the way and kind of straighten this out a little bit. I'm going to go right here. Still need more up here, so I think if I bump this straighter section a bit, the bottom piece will fit.
looking pretty close now. This tent looks kind of flimsy. Some more right in this area here. Somebody's phoning me. My wife. Hello. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm coming in in about five minutes. Is that right? Okay, yeah. My wife wants to watch a movie, a scary movie, it's Halloween. Actually, I don't know if it's that scary, it's Adam's Family. I don't think they're very scary. Never seen it before. Novel concept. Just let the machine hold your part. Yeah, coming. Yes. There we go. Done. So I've got this fitting the template very well now. Um, this, this is a little bit more than it needs to be, but that's okay. A little bit more bowed. That's okay. Um, so now I gotta form the return. What do you call it? This so this this has to come down here and then kick back out parallel to this surface here. So I also did a little uh, this this surface here. You can see these marks. This kind of was down. It was the 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 brake came up like this, and then it dropped in kind of so this was low here so I just bumped this out using a combination of different things to use the, the, the butt end of this chisel tapped it just, just tapping against the bench see some marks there and then with the curved face body hammer here just went along moved it out slowly so that's looking good now so yeah, so now I'm going to scribe this and mark this out somehow and uh, turn this back. So I made this little scribing tool. So I figure out how far I wanted that bend. And this is this nail because it's kind of a friction fit in here. Well, it is a friction fit. And so I'll just go along like this. Hold it flush against the outside and just keep rubbing along here and make some up. So I got this line all scribed out on here. So I'm just going to start this bend with the vice grips. A nice clean pair of vice grips. Snap it right on the line. And the tug. I'm not going to bend it a whole lot at first. Just want to go slowly into it. Just going to 
funny pair of these aren't vice grips they're a, another brand that tried to reinvent vice grips anyways they're working Seem to want to stay tight though. I don't like them. Junk. Pretty hard to improve on the real thing. And here's the real thing Irwin Vice Grips. Once I get this started, I'm going to have to stretch this by hammering on it. Just want to get a bit of a line here. I'll probably go over this a couple times before I start hammering it. And you probably don't want to watch the whole deal, so. Bring you back. Want to go to bent some. So we've got this pretty well turned here. Um, this surface here is a little wide, so I'm going to have to move some of this material from here to this flange. So uh, I had I had some more footage of this, but it was really bad. So I just dumped it. It was mostly out of my, what I was doing was mostly out of the frame. So anyway, so I gotta I gotta move uh, some material. By making these blows like this, it pulls material down. Pencil gauge, sanded it down a bit. Yeah, so that's that's going where I want it to go here now. You can see that? So it's flush here. So I'm just going to turn this up a bit more. So I'm going to com complete this whole fold here. Go back to the vice grips and start pulling this. This is fitting the truck quite nicely now. I've, I've kind of slid this whole thing down a little bit because uh, I want to make it, it's a little short up here. So I want to bring this down to catch this here. 
Probably gonna end up cutting this off here just where it meets. It does have to all move this way a little bit, so that'll help that improve that as well. It's just laying on top of the old panel now, so it's it's all moved back this in this direction. And so this down here, once uh, you know, once all this stuff's trimmed, like the old panels trimmed out of there, that'll move in a bit, and it, it'll close this gap up somewhat. But I think it's uh, it's quite good right now. Might have to put a little bit more curve in the panel somehow by shrinking this a little bit more. I'm pretty pretty much locked in now because I can't shrink this part. So uh, if I shrink this a little bit, it might help. But uh, can't do much. I think it'll be okay though. It's looking good. Now that I've got this all folded over, or folded back for the flange, it's not really fitting my template exactly like I'd like it to. See how the top straighter portion is a little bit too bowed. So I might be able to stretch out this flange in a couple of, like, on, on, or, um, or just, uh, hitting it along here and then I can hit it along here and I'll, I'll expand that a little bit hopefully. Can't really get right down to the corner but and then it's a little flat right here. I think I can just work this area up right here. I can feel a flat spot there so I'll just work this area up just like I did this area and that should take care of that. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, that is fitting very nicely now it's touching all along here along the flange pops out a little bit at the top here but uh, I mean, it, it, it'll be fine so now at the front here it's off it's off it's not uh, and like this part here I'm gonna be able to pull this down but down in here I think I'm gonna to have to do some sh shrinking along here just to shrink this whole this whole area right here and get it to tuck up so there we go that shrinking was just what that needed this is all tightened up here now. Um, so this this whole area, this whole area here, see it's it's going to step down. So all of this is going to end up um, in that zone. So that's that'll you know when it offsets. I don't know if it's going to bring it any closer or not even more but well I guess it will but it uh, you know I, I have to get the old skin cut out of there now to to go any further with this so I'll go ahead and start mapping that out now and uh, get that old skin cut off and this will fall into place a little better I'll have a better idea if it's gonna need any more work
compare this to the truck. You gotta tighten it up a bit. Should have done a test piece. How unprofessional. So there you go, a pillar patch. So I'm pretty happy with this, uh, except for this, this little detail here. It's not quite the right, right profile, but I, I can fix that. I should have had the rollers even closer together. Uh, should have done a test piece first, but like I said, anyways, how unprofessional. So we've got the doors now. And I tried this piece up against the door and it fits, fits perfectly. The curve, the shape of the curve here is perfect. You know, it's just, I couldn't be happier with the way this actually turned out. Um, so, um, so the next, next thing I got to do now is uh, all this inner structure stuff. So I guess uh, on, on my next uh, video, that's what I'll be focusing on is making this kick panel on this filler piece here and uh, the front of the inner skirt. And uh, I guess that's about it. There's one, two, um, three, four pieces I got to make. I got to make this piece here down here. Probably make this one first. A quick little quick project for there. But anyways, uh, so that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making this part. Uh, so uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.